This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So M19 is finally here, which means no poll last week. Instead, this week we are kicking off M19 season with a special episode, and of course, we are playing the new You Win the Game card, Liliana's Contract, and I'm pretty excited for this. This one. this one is like standard Splinter Twin. Two-card combo, well, kinda. Two-card combo. We also need four different creatures on the battlefield, but who's counting? Who's counting? That should be the easy part. This is Liliana's Adaptation. So, I'm excited to give this a shot. See if we can win some games with the You Win the Game mode of Liliana's Contract. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Liliana's Adaptation. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free so let's talk Liliana's adaptation starting with the namesake Liliana's contract so Liliana's contract is one of the better you win the game cards that have ever been printed because it's actually pretty good when it's not winning us a game five mana enchantment when it enters the battlefield you draw four and lose four and then the big payoff is if at the beginning of our upkeep, we have four or more demons with different names, we win the game. So that's the plan of the deck. We play Liliana's Contract, we draw some cards, eventually we get four demons on the battlefield. So in theory, you could be demon tribal. The problem is... There's only a handful of demons in standard. Most of them are like six, seven, eight mana. And if you have four of them on the battlefield, you probably don't need Liliana's contract to win the game because you have like Razakaz and Demon Lord Bells and Locks and these massive flying demons. So we're cheating a little bit. To get four demons on the battlefield, rather than playing literal demons, we're playing Arcane Adaptation. So Arcane Adaptation, part two of our standard Splinter Twin combo, comes down three mana, lets us choose a creature type and it makes all of our creatures into that chosen type so what are we turning into zombies and here the trick is to not play too many four ofs because we need four creatures with different names to turn into demons with our arcane adaptation to trigger our little on his contract we actually only have one four of in the deck and that is champion of wits because champion of wits is really good at finding us our pieces comes down kind of faithless lootings and and then if we ever eternalize it, it's big boost of card advantage to help make sure we find both of our combo pieces and the other creatures we need. Otherwise, we got a ton of one ofs and two ofs. So Gifted Aetherborn, Aether Sphere Harvester, they're important because Liliana's contract costs a lot of life. And one of the risks with the deck is that we can get too low on life to actually cast our Liliana's contract. And then things get really sketchy because then we can't combo off and win the game. So Gifted Aetherborn, Aether Sphere Harvester, give us some incidental life gain. Then we have a bunch of creatures that are also like our removal spells so they're counting as demons to get those four for Liliana's contract also keeping us alive merfolk trickster just tapping something down chupacabra killing something hostage shaker maybe stealing something and then we have our control creatures couple of kaisel freebooters giving us a duress on a stick ganti lord of luxury to steal one of our opponent's cards maybe a creature to turn into a zombie so they're fine in general but especially good against control style decks where their abilities are more relevant. Then we have just a couple of random creatures. Omen Speaker, another good blocking two drop that lets us scry for our pieces. Sailor Memes giving us a treasure token to fix our mana, giving us a good blocking body because once we find our combo pieces, all we really gotta do is stay alive and play creatures that stick on the battlefield. So having good blockers helps get that done. Then we have one Unesh Kairos Sphinx Sovereign. This one's a little weird. So Unesh actually kinda combos with Arcane Adaptation in its own way because if we can turn everything into sphinxes any creature that enters the battlefield all of a sudden we're factor fictioning or mini factor fictioning revealing four cards getting some
some of them, the rest going to our graveyard with our opponent separating the piles. So once we get one arcane adaptation on Demon, we can potentially set the second one on Sphinx, play our Unesh, play some other creatures, just draw tons of cards and assemble the combo really quickly. Finally, creature-wise, a couple of Scarab Gods and Scarab God. It's just a powerful card, but it's also a way to get back our creatures that die. Since we have all these two ofs, if two of the same creature dies, then we lose that differently named creature for Liliana's contract being a demon. Scarab God lets it get it back or even steal our opponent's creatures, and the cards do keep their names, so they are differently named cards. So it's kind of one card that can potentially get us four differently named demons all by itself. Also, like a backup, backup, backup combo with Arcane Adaptation. If we get one on Demon, get one on Sphinx, we can pull one on Zombie, and then all of our creatures are draining and scrying with Scarab God. Otherwise, Fatal Push for a bit of removal, Veraska's Contempt to exile our opponent's stuff, Mana Base, a bunch of dual lands, Field of Ruin, a few deserts, some basic lands. In the sideboard for Contempt, Control, we get Duress and Doomfall to attack our opponent's hand, Negate to just counter stuff, protect our combo pieces, Sorcerer Spyglass and the Immortal Sun, mostly to deal with Planeswalkers, to Fairies and Chandras and Karns and all those powerful Planeswalkers in Standard, uh, giving us a way to deal with them out of the sideboard. Arctic has zero Planeswalkers, so they don't really hurt us at all. Then we have a bunch of removal for Aggro, Fatal Push, Fungal Infection for the early game. Plague Mare can wipe out a whole board of tokens like a Black Goblin Chain Whirler. Aether Sphere Harvester to gain life against the Red Decks. And that is Liliana's Adaptation for M19 Standard. And that's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So this one should be interesting. Our deck is kind of high in variance because we have so many two ofs. Although the huge boosts of card draw from Liliana's Contract and also Champion of Wits, especially if we Eternalize, definitely helps move things things out. Otherwise, I mean, if we get down Adaptation, we get down Liliana's Contract, it's kind of Splinter Twin. We just need to get those four creatures and win the game. So how often do we actually pull it off? Let's get to the gameplay videos and find out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I will talk to you soon. All right, uh, against odds time, playing some Liliana's Contract combo in Standard, M19 Standard, and uh, we'll try this. So we have one combo piece. Opponent leads on Oasis. Well, Fetid Pools, go. Probably playing like Mono Green Stompy or not. Mountain for our opponent. Deadlands. All right, play the Swamp, run out Booty. Oh, it's, it's the Sifter Worm deck. Opponent has a million removal spells. Um, all right, take Struggle. Pass the turn. This should be interesting. Cuts, yep. So opponent has, all right, has some amount of cards. Opponent passes. I'll play the swamp and let's just arcane adaptation on demon, of course. Pass the turn. Opponent. All right. Springs for land and passes. Liliana's contract's pretty sweet. Play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Gift of Paradise. Well, we're just going to resolve this Liliana's contract, I think, better than the Scarab God here. Play a swamp. Play Liliana's contract. Draw some cards. Discard, Fatal Push. And now the race is on. We have to get three, uh, four creatures to stick on the battlefield until one of our upkeeps. Opponents, passing. Yeah, let's Sailor of Means. Wow, they're actually going to commit it. Okay, they commit the contract. So we get the Sailor of Means, play Drown Catacombs, play Aether's Fear Harvester, and pass the turn. Rootbound Craig. Opponent passes. Well, fire up Aether's Fear Harvester. Get in. Gain some life. And yeah, I guess we Scarab God. Resolves. Play Boneyard. Pass the turn. Okay, they're going to go the other direction. Struggle, Scarab God. Yep. And then shuffle everything back in. Cut Sailor of Means. Okay. Yep. All right. Everything shuffled back in. Well, hopefully we just draw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So Scarab God's gone. Oh, play Hostage Taker. Steal Compass. I think this works. Play Compass. Play Deadlands. Crew Hostage Taker. Uh, crew with Hostage Taker. Get in. Gain some life. And then we might as well tutor out a land, I guess. Grab an island. Hopefully this remains on our... Okay, it does remain on our side of the battlefield. Memorial to War. Opponent passing. Well, blow up Memorial. Grab an island. 
crew up our ether sphere. Go attacking. Player cane adaptation. I'm tempted to name Sphinx for our Unesh. They could have another commit though. I guess we just double up on demon. Play drown catacombs. Play scarab god. And pass the turn. We're trying. We're putting up a fight. There's a shifter worm. What does our opponent find? Uh, another commit? That is a good one. Oh, we probably should have named Zombie. Huh. Yeah, maybe we should name Zombie for this crying. More lands. Well, get rid of Sifter Worm. Crew up our Aethersphere Harvester. Hit our opponent for a bunch. Play Boneyard, pass the turn. So opponent draws a commit. Opponent passing. Opponent passes. Well, play Gifted Aetherborn. Crew Harvester. Go attacking. There's commit number two. Opponent down to nine. And pass the turn. Oh, what a weird matchup. All right. Bounces Harvester. Then I'm assuming they're going to make us discard two. All right. Sweeps the board. Desert. And opponent's out of cards. All right. Well, we draw. Contract. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, play Gifted Aetherborn. Play Aethersphere Harvester. And pass the turn. All right, new hands for everyone, and okay, there's a contract. Compass, yup, gonna flip. Well, let's cycle fetid pools. Opponent passes, flips. Well, start with Liliana's contract. Draw some cards. Cut you seal freebooter. See what our opponent has in hand. Struggle, spring, our devastation. All right, well, take struggle. Crew, ether sphere. Go attacking. Yeah, I mean, I guess we have to make our opponent wrath. So play hostage taker. Oh, we have no, we have no options. Play boneyard, pass the turn. But we actually don't win next turn regardless. Oasis. Heaven, okay. Kills Freebooter. Earth kills Hostage Taker. All right, opponent's passing. Well, let's Unesh. See, see what we hit. Ah, oh, if only one of these runs Sphinx. So Unesh, top four. Um, yeah, I guess we take Scarab God Pile. Play Field of Ruin. Blow up Spire. Grab an Island. Uh, crew up Ether Sphere. Go attacking. Yeah, kills Aether Sphere. And yeah, I guess we pass. Oh, we were so close to the combo kill. Opponent springs. Well, that doesn't save him though. Our devastation. Yep. So opponent remains alive. Uh, well, let's cycle. We could trickster and try to attack for lethal. That's so much less cool though. Yeah, we gotta we gotta win with style. Chupacabra. So play Scarab God. Get back, Unesh. Get some new cards. Ugh, horrible cards. Well, take the lands. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's draw step. I think we might be doing it. I think we might be doing it. Uh-oh. Ugh. Consigns our contract. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to kill our opponent the old-fashioned. The old-fashioned boring way. Well, draw step. Scarab God, get back. We tried. We really tried hard to do it with style. I mean, I guess uneshing. Oh man, if only we had set this on Sphinx. Commits our Scarab God. We get back Freebooter. Bone's got nothing in hand. I think we got there though. Plays the land. Oh, uh, well, no combo kill. Close, but our opponent just has so many ways to bounce our stuff. An opponent scoops it up. All right, so we did get the win. It was not the beautiful win we were hoping for, but we'll take it. Gotta go down Fatal Push. Do not want them. Gifted Aetherborns? Go up Negate. Go down Chupacabra for Immortal Sun. And go down one Trickster for Doomfall. We'll try it. We'll try it like that. Ah, okay. We'll, we'll try it. Island for our opponent. And passes. Well, there's tubes. Well, let's just dress. Well, takes Anworm Convergence. We're just gonna have to play through the rest of the stuff. Forest for our opponent. And passes. Well, Catacombs, go. Opponent gets to begin the ramping. Gift to Paradise. Yep. And passes. Play Deadlands. Run out our champion. Discard Chupacabra. Discard Sailor, it means, I guess. Passes the turn. Opponent springs gets a mountain 
And passes. Well, get into a champion. Play Scavenger Grounds, and let's just Gunty. All right, take our promise, pass the turn. We actually have exactly three deserts in our deck. All right, blows up our board. Well, we're gonna take a, take a break and just play this Liliana's Contract. So, Field of Ruin, get down Liliana's Contract, draw some cards. Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. Duress Adaptation, we're not that far from trying to combo. Oasis, opponent, passes. Well, let's start by duressing. Ooh, Appetite, all right. There goes Contract. Um, play Drowned Catacombs, Hour of Promise, I guess? So take Rivulet and take, yeah, I guess Field of Ruin. Get some zombies with our <laughs> exactly three deserts. Pass the turn. Tap land. All right, opponent just draws two. Sure, opponent passes. Play Immortal Sun. Play Kite Sail Freebooter. Take Struggle to Survive. Play Drowned Catacombs. Play Arcane Adaptation <sighs> on Demon. Go attacking and pass the turn. Opponent can wrath our board. I don't know if we're anywhere near comboing off, but all right. Wipes out our flyer. Opponent passes. So we draw two. Well, let's contract. Draw some cards. Arcane Adaptation on Sphinx. Play Boneyard. Our creatures are just they're all they're all creature types. God Demon Sphinx. <laughs> Actually, let's cycle this now. All right, pass the turn. All right, bounces the Immortal Sun. Rivulet. Is it time to draw new hands? Oh, Nicole Bolas. Uh, all right, that's uh annoying. Takes up, gets negate. Not the most helpful of spells. Opponent passes. Ooh, that's that's pretty good. So let's play Immortal Sun, play Drown Catacombs, Doomfall our opponent, <laughs> blocked by the Immortal Sun. I guess that is one way of putting it. Take Struggle to survive, and let's just kill it anyway. Kill Nicole Bolas, which is blocked by the Immortal Sun. <laughs> uh, go attacking, Moto. Moto never ceases to amaze me blocked. Hit our opponent. I mean, I guess we're just winning with this janky beatdown plan with zombie demon sphinxes. Now we got off our, uh, our opponent's hour of devastation with our three deserts, thanks to Gonti. I mean, it's not the combo, but we'll take it. Own it. They can kill our zombies. Yeah, zombie demon sphinxes down. And springs, or gift of paradise. Yep. Opponent passes. Fetid pools, omen speaker. Well, start with omen speaker. Bottom and bottom. Play Scarab God. Get back Champion of Wits. Get back Champion of Wits. Draw five. Discard the tap lands. Play a swamp. And yeah, let's just get rid of the graveyards. And pass the turn. Bonet, what is the last card? Well, they get to, okay. Bonet gets to sweep the board. We might have to not unash for fear of milling out because everything is a sphinx and a demon. All right, board clear. Opponent passes. We get back Scarab God, yup. Draw two. Well, start with Champion of Wits. Discard contract, discard contract. Ugh. Play another Champion of Wits. Discard land, discard land. Play an island, we might be getting there. Play Kaisale Freebooter, yes. No cards in hand. Play Hostage Taker. Get rid of a Champion of Wits. Blow up Rivulet. Get a land. Play Aethersphere Harvester. And pass the turn. We got the creatures assembled. What does our opponent draw? We got the contract killing if they don't top deck another sweeper. What a ridiculous match. It's safety. That does it. All we gotta do is crew this Aethersphere Harvester. We have... <laughs> We have Lily on his contract. We have the, all of our creatures as demon and sphinxes, and we're gonna have four creatures. This was an insane game. Pony goes up to 17, yes, but that's not their main problem. Their main problem is uh, the contract killing. Crew, Aether Sphere, four creatures, and uh, I believe that's. Oh! Oh! That doesn't work! That doesn't work! Oh my god, it doesn't work. Oh no. We'll play Scarab God. Play a land. Play Unesh. <sighs> Get in a gate. All right. All right, that didn't work the way we had thought it out. 
Pass the turn. Next turn. Next turn. The crewing in response does not work. The beginning of our upkeep is passed. What a ridiculous match. What a ridiculous match. Ha! <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. We did it. We did it. We did it. Opponent. Are they going to actually give us the killing? Opponent passes. Beginning of her upkeep. Liliana's contract for demons. Also sphinxes. And that is the game, boys and girls. And that's what we've been trying to do. That's what we've been trying to do. It does kinda-ish work. That was an annoying matchup because our opponent could keep bouncing our combo pieces, but it did, it did actually work. Sweet. All right. Uh against thoughts time playing some liliana's contract in m19 standard and we'll keep this we got a champion of wits which we can use to discard this arcane adaptation so we don't have to uh look at it anymore fatted pools go opponent forest well drown catacombs go opponent cycles of desert root walla okay oh there's liliana's contract i'll play a swamp oh my god i guess we're doing it Arcane Adaptation on Demon. Pass the turn. God Demon. <sighs> Bonet. Yeah, it's in with Rootwalla. Down to 18. And Giant Spider. Um, well, play the Island. Play Champion of Wits. Discard Scarab God and Rivulet. Pass the turn. Bonet. Goes attacking. Well, let's block Rootwalla. Yeah, opponent pumps. Down to 16. Desert. All right. Fatal push. Rootwalla. Well, I guess it's time. Hopefully nothing too bad happens. Liliana's contract. Draw some cards. Pass the dirt. Four creatures. Four creatures is what we need. Opponent gets in. Yup. Down to 10. We might be pulling it off though against the giant spiders. Ugh. Just kidding. We might be dying to Sarah Angel. A play champion of wits. Go looting. Discard Boneyard arcane adaptation play field of ruin play sailor of means and i think we might be set up to do it next turn we can etherborn flash in trickster and then and then get the contract killing phone it gets in uh yeah we'll block your giant spider sailor of memes doing its thing down to six sidewinder naga trampoly opponent passes all right so play gifted etherborn play submerge boneyard sack of treasure fatal push naga fatal push doing this main phase because of like blossoming defense pass the turn and then tricky tricky for the win oh no oh, okay sure down to two didn't have the beginning of combat stop uh stop set but it doesn't really matter we still get to trickster Opponent cycles, yep. Looking for a Swords Plowshares. And opponent scoops it up. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just run it back. Uh, we'll keep. Four is for our opponent. Well, island, go. Sailor means isn't bad. Opponent passes. Well, Swamp and Omen Speaker. Yeah, let's keep both of these. This hand actually looks pretty good. Opponent, Sidewinder Naga. Well, let's Rivulet and just, uh, Sailor means. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent and Giant Spider. Opponent passes. Well, let's play Champion of Wits. Do some looting. Discard Gonti. Discard Unash. Play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. Desert for our opponent. Okay. Highest Interdiction. Sure, gain some life. That's fine. Gets in, 4-4. Four, four. Well, we'll take it. Down to 16. Play Catacombs. And yeah, I think we just go for it. Let's Liliana's Contract. There's Adaptation. All right, pass the turn. So next turn, we can Gifted Etherborn Adaptation. Maybe we just double block. Yeah, uh, I think we do. Block, block. This means we're going to win slightly slower, but I think there's some risk that we die to like a Sarah Angel or something. So Sailor means down. Opponent, there, there is the Sarah Angel. So let's play Hostage Shaker. Get rid of Sarah Angel. Catacombs, play Adaptation on Demon. And pass the turn. Stalwart for our opponent and Ruwala. All right, that's fine. Opponent, passing. So play Freebooter. Interdiction. And I guess we take it. And then I guess we just do the rub-ins and win with our opponent Sarah Angel <laughs> the demonic Sarah Angel pass the turn 
opponent plays a land and passes. So Liliana's contract triggers and so we got there. We got the contract kill. I'm actually going to uh, concede. I feel bad. Our opponent is a, looks like a, most likely a new player. And I don't really want to take their play points, but we did get the contract kill twice against uh, green, white <laughs> starter cards. Dot deck. All right. Against the odds time. Ugh. Trying to assemble some demons for Liliana's contract. And uh, we're going to keep this. I know it looks horrible, but it's actually not as bad as it looks. We got Champion of Wits and a Cycling Land. Well, Submerge Boneyard, goo. Ponent, Mountain, and Soul Scar Mage. Well, Swamp, goo. Mountain for our opponent. Gets it. Yep. Down to 19. And something I've never heard of. Vashino Pyromancer. Two damage to player Planeswalker. All right. Well, you got us. Cycle Fetid Pools. Oh my goodness, more lands! Uh, not like this deck. Well, there's Arcane Adaptation. It does nothing until it hopefully wins us the game. Champion of Wits. Discard Champion of Wits. All right, let's discard Field of Ruins. Pass the turn. Gifted Aetherborn's good. Bonded Courier for our opponent. Goes attacking. Well, block Pyromancer. Down to 15. And get you Lava Runner. Fatal Push is also good. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Play an Island. Pass the turn. Unsure how good a shape we are in for Liliana's Crest, but... Alright, opponent kills Gifted Aetherborn. Hmm. Okay. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's just Fatal Push Soulscar Mage. Opponent passes. Down to 13. However, we get to Island and play Scarab God and pass the turn. Wizard's Lightning. All right. Opponent's got all the burn spells. Goes attacking. Sure. Down to 10. Removal spell would be sweet. Well, replay Scarab God. Play Boneyard. Pass the turn. Opponent finds a land. Oh my God. On Crop Crasher. Good God. That's not ideal. We might just be dead. Down to four. Okay. Hmm. Well, get back champion, I guess. Ugh. Discard Arcane Adaptation and Champion of Wits. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Pass the turn. Unfortunately, our opponent can sack this Bomat Courier. <laughs> Action Jackson over there. All right. And, uh, yeah, I guess it got us. Well, then. Uh, bring in the Plague Mares. Bring in the Aether Sphere Harvesters. Bring in Fungal Infection. Bring in Fatal Push. Go down Unash. Go down a Ganti. Um, 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 um. <laughs> um, Arcane Adaptation just does so much nothing. We gotta cut at least one. One Chupacabra and one Freebooter? Try it like that. All right. We are on the play. And, uh, all right. I guess we will keep Tapland Central over here. Rivulet to the bottom. So Drown Catacombs go. Opponent, Mountain, and Lava Runner. A play Field of Ruin, run out Omen Speaker. Awkward. Well, put on top, put on top. I guess we're just not playing anything next turn, unfortunately. Mountain for our opponent. A Braid's Omen Speaker gets in for one. Ugh, skipping this turn is not ideal. Ground Catacombs, go. Yeah, that is that is not good. Uh, Eminent Doom. Okay. Gets in for one. Well, play Boneyard. Play Aether Sphere Harvester. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. Comboing off. Get to Lava Runner. Gets a damage. And... <laughs> Oh, it might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. Down to 12, turns on both Lava Runners. <laughs> sure. Down to 8. Opponent passes. I'll play a not great Field of Ruin. Play Champion of Wits. Drawn Discard. Discard Contract and Catacombs. Play Gifted Aetherborn. And pass the turn. Opponent, wow. That is, that is the five card combo. Pona had the five card combo. The six card combo. All right. All right. I guess you put Eminent Doom in your deck with the hopes that that will happen once every hundred games. And in a miracle of uh, magic, we got to witness the one in a hundred on, on against the odds. So, ah, well, we didn't beat the odds, but our opponent certainly did. That was, 
<laughs> Seriously, if you could construct the, oh my god, it's Magical Christmas Land Eminent Doom draw. We just saw it. We saw it. All right. Against the odds time, we are mulliganing with Liliana's contract. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, you put arcane adaptations in your deck because you want to draw them, I guess. We're going to have lots of creature types. Trickster. I guess we keep that. That is a card we can cast. Submerge Boneyard Goo. See what our opponent's doing. All right. Looks like control. Well, Drown Catacombs Go. Inspiring Vantage. Well, Boneyard Goo. Bonent. Ether Hub. Well, let's get tricky. You're really going to counter? Okay. That is fine. Well, play Omen Speaker. Go Scrying. I think we got a bottom both, unfortunately. Opponents. Ooh, missing land drops and passing. Well, get in with Omen Speaker. Play Arcane Adaptation. All right, opponent disallows. That costs our opponent their energy, though. So they're down to one blue source at the moment. Ugh. Hits their land drop. Well, get in with Omen Speaker. Opponent takes it. Play Adaptation. More disallows. All right, pass the turn. Well, cycle Fetid Pools into more Fetid Pools into Gonti. Well, get in with Omen Speaker. <sighs> yeah, let's go for it. I mean, we've already worked through three counters. Oh my god. Um, all right, play Fetid Pools, pass the turn. Hey, that is a lot of counters. Opponent is a land drop. That means they're going to play Teferi, and we are going to scoop it up. Not a whole lot we can. We can do about that on the mulligans. Opponent, untap some lands. Sure. Well, play Gonti. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me, world. Opponent draws a card with Teferi. Hitting their land drops, hitting their land drops. Search for his Kanta. Uh, play Champion of Wits. Uh, all right. Syncope, and we will scoop it up. Three disallows, two syncopes, essence scatter to fairy. That's some good clean fun. So bring in duresses, bring in negates, bring in sorceress spyglass, bring in the immortal sun and doomfall. Go down chupacabra, fatal push, gifted etherborn. I guess we go down hostage taker and a merfolk trickster. All right, I guess we keep. So boneyard goo. Opponent, Spire Bluff Canal. I'll play the Swamp and run out Freebooter. Opponent, Infinite Counter Spells. I'll well, take Harness Lightning, I guess. Pass the turn. Opponent plays land, passes. Well, get in with Freebooter. Play Drown Catacombs, pass the turn. Ether Hub for our opponent. Well, Cycle Fetid Pools. Duress is pretty good. Let's get in with Freebooter. Well, let's Duress our opponent. Opponent negates. So play Scavenger Grounds, play Champion of Wits, discard Trickster, and Boneyard. Pass the turn. Opponent draws a land, and we know they still have a ton of counters. Well, go attacking. Opponent takes it. Play Field of Ruin, Doomfall our opponent. All right, there's a disallow. Well, I mean, we're slowly trying to eat through the counters. Opponent passes. Go attacking. I mean, we got to try it. We don't know that they have another hard counter in hand. I guess we should have assumed that they would be drawn one. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. Um, let's play Sorceress Spyglass. Good God. The deck is literally 100% counters. That is it. That is it. Well, Aether Sphere go. Opponent draws a counter. Passes. Well, let's crew. Go attacking. Opponent has Settle the Wreckage. Boo. Well, get a couple lands. Play Field of Ruin. Play Unash. Opponent has Essence Scatter, Torrential, and one unknown card. Um, yeah, let's take the contract pile. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a land. And passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Play Contract. Torrential, sure. So now we just nuke the graveyards. So Zack Scavenger Grounds, get rid of the graveyards. Contract resolves. We draw a bunch of cards. Uh, not great cards, but they are magic cards. Pass the turn. Opponent does have to deal with our flyers, too. And opponent scoops it up. All right. 
fighting through the infinite counters and Liliana's contract, even without winning us the game, just drawing us all those cards is a huge swing if we can resolve it. So I guess that's our setup. Uh, okay. Goal being, like usual, resolve Liliana's contract to draw a bunch of cards. The Angel Fortress. Hmm. Yeah, let's just to rest. Don't really want our opponent to resolve a search for Escanta. Counter, 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 glimmer, harness lightning. Well, take the glimmer, pass the turn. Opponent, Spire Bluff Canal, and passes. Well, that's Field of Ruin and Sorcerer's Spyglass. All right, opponent added a Magma Spray. Well, we're just going to name Teferi, the hero of Dominaria. Pass the turn. Sulfur Falls for our opponent. Well, run out Freebooter. Eat a Magma Spray. Oh, goes with Harness Lightning. All right. Saving Magma Spray for Champion of Wits. That makes sense. All right, opponent, more counters. No lands, though. Opponent, passing. Well, Submerge Boneyard, pass the turn. Gonna have to plow through these counters eventually. Getting ahead on lands is good, though. Passing. Well, Cycle Fetid Pools. More lands, more lands. Play Drown Catacombs. Pass the turn. Opponent, finds a land. And passes. Play Drown Catacombs. Yeah, let's pass. Uh-oh. Glimmer. Uh. All right, not a fan, not a fan of the Glimmer. Opponent, Tapland. Ooh, I think we're actually gonna resolve Liliana's contract, unless our opponent drew like another Syncopate. So play Drown Catacombs, play Liliana's contract. Syncopate, we will definitely negate the Syncopate. Draw four. Huh, okay, pass the turn. Shields are down, shields are down. Land for our opponent. Teferi, thankfully can't do anything yet. Thanks to the Sorcerer's Spyglass. I don't know if our opponent realized that. <laughs> opponent said they forgot about the Spyglass. Well, that is good for us. Although we can't really punish them. Eh, Freebooter's not bad. So, Champion of Wits. Draw. Discard Boneyard. Discard Island. Champion of Wits. Draw. Discard Island Swamp. Play an island, play Freebooter, whew, take the Magma Spray, and our opponent currently does not have any answers to what we're doing. Ether Hub, yup. Two Essence Scatters and a Disallow, and one Unknown card. Passing. Ugh, Arcane Adaptation, eh? Well, attack to Fairy, attack to Fairy. Opponent takes it. Play Arcane Adaptation. Opponent Disallows. Play Arcane Adaptation. On Demon. And yeah, I mean, I guess we're going shields down. Deadlands, Aethersphere Harvester, and pass the turn. All right, all right, all right. What do you got, opponent? Reveal at, and passes. Well, crew harvester, go attacking, gain some life. I mean, we, we gotta play it. No counters, no counters. Resolves, whoo, draw a bunch of cards. Well, play a swamp, all right, I mean, we drew all land, so run it back, contract. Part three, draw some cards. And uh, yeah, pass the turn. We're down to 11, but look at the contracts. We also have it set on demons. We are super close. Opponent mills us. Okay, cycles farmland. Opponent passing. Well, duress our opponent. Are we doing it? Is this deck actually working? Take glimmer, Uh, draw some cards. So let's crew harvester, go attacking, hit our opponent. Play Scavenger Grounds. Yeah, pass the turn. Discard Champion. Ether Hub for our opponent. Yup, to go with that Essence Scatters. Well, Cycle Fetid Pools. As long as we don't get milled out. In defense of Liliana's Mastery, it might not be a combo kill, but good God has it drawn us a lot of cards. So I think we just Eternalize Champion. I mean, we've drawn 16 cards with Liliana's Masteries. So Eternalize Champion. Draw some cards. Uh, discard and also discard. Crew up Harvester and attack for eight. I mean, I think this is Exaxes. Who? Liliana's contract. Well, we saw the power of Liliana's contract when we're not comboing off. I mean, the th oh man, 
So that actually describes one of the great parts of that deck. So obviously we did not combo off and win the game. However, you can see how the combo impacted the game. So number one, of course, we drew a ridiculous 16 cards with Liliana's contract, which probably won us that game. Just 16 more cards in our opponent. That is a huge swing. The other thing is our opponent kept having to spend counters on our arcane adaptations we know that arcane adaptation is literally horrible until we win the game but our opponent when you see someone play arcane adaptation you gotta counter it because you think something scary is gonna happen so that was an impressive performance for our deck i have to say that was pretty impressive all right against the odds time we are playing some contract combo liliana's contract in standard and this is an expensively risky hand but we're gonna we're gonna try it for us for our opponent and passes well boneyard go opponent woodland cemetery and passes <sighs> let's play the swamp not playing anything until turn four is a bit sketchy planes for our opponent well, maybe not playing anything until turn four is fine. Cycle Fetid Pools. Gifted Aetherborn. That's good. Ooh, and Omen Speaker. Yeah, let's just Omen Speaker. Do some scrying. Drown Catacombs to the bottom. Yeah, let's keep Deadlands. Play Boneyard. Pass the turn. Bonent. Ooh, Ariel. Okay. Well, Drown Catacombs, and we are just going to choop up that Ariel. And get in with Omen Speaker. And ship the turn. We're actually pretty close to comboing if we find Arcane Adaptation. Four is for our opponent. Shalai, Voice of Plenty. We'll play Deadlands. And yeah, let's just draw cards. Liliana's Contract. Draw some cards. And pass the turn. Discard a Fetid Pools, I guess. Another land for our opponent. Gets in. Yeah. Down to 13. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. Play a Hostage Taker. Get rid of Shalai. Play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. All right. Kills Hostage Taker. So now we need to Fatal Push. All right. Another Shalai. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. Opponent takes it. Down to 13. Play Fetid Pools. All right. I guess we just play Scare of God. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ugh. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. We get to Fatal Push. Opponent passes. Ugh. More Scarab Gods. Not ideal. Let's play Contract. Draw some cards. Play Drone Catacombs. Play Champion of Wits. Still need to find a Arcane Adaptation. Discard Champion of Wits. Discard Scarab God. Get in with Scarab God. And pass the turn. Opponent. Ooh, that's a good turn for our opponent. Grind and then dust the Scarab God. Yeah, not bad. Well, come on, Arcade Adaptation. Opponent passes. Let's get back. Champion of Wits. Draw some cards. Looking for Adaptation. Discard Champion and Island. Play Drown Catacombs. Play Gifted Aetherborn. And pass the turn. Ovaya for our opponent. Uh, more rune is blast. Opponent is not making our lives easy. We just want to combo off opponent. Stop killing our contracts. Well, run it back. Run it back. Champion of Wits, number million. I feel like we're drawing enough cards that we still might get there eventually. Champion of Wits. Discard champion and submerge boneyard. Play sailor of means. Get a treasure. And yeah, let's just fatal push. Still not having much luck finding these arcane adaptations. Pass the turn. Shauna. Yup. Opponent. Passes. There's adaptation. Okay, so play adaptation. Oh, no. Oh. Now we need another contract, too. So, yeah, those ruinous blasts are obnoxious. Play omen speaker. Do some scrying. Uh, bottom and bottom. Go attacking. Uh, we might just be winning with Demon Beats thanks to these Urza's Ruinous Blasts. Kills the champion. Yep. And yeah, let's just pass. Opponent. Ugh, Karn. Okay. Takes up. Uh, Alright, you can have Arvad. Opponent. Passes. Alright, kill the Karn. Untap. Chupacabra. 
Well, Champion of Wits, looking for the contract. Yep, draw some cards. There's a contract. Discard Aethersphere Harvester and Rivulet. Play the Island. Play a Gonti. Steal. All right, Mox Amber. We actually do have a legend. Play Mox Amber. Pass the turn. Well, we're set up for the turn, not this, the kill, not this turn, but the next turn. And we've drawn almost our entire deck to get there. Ooh, Teshar. Spicy. Shauna gets back Ovaya. Yup. All right. Opponent passes. Well, start with contract. Draw some cards. Ver Let's Chupacabra on Teshar. Play Scavenger Grouts. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Do you have another blast? Because if not, we have the contract killing set up. Everything's a demon. Everything's a demon. There's more than four. Opponent. Aravad. Sure. That's fine. Pumps the Legends. Goes to combat. Well, let's just get tricky. Tap down Ovaya. And I think we did it. Through a, a lot of Urza's Ruinous Blast. Opponent. Passes. All right. Another Ovaya. Sure. Out of cards. And everything's a demon. There's more than four. And that is the game. That's... <laughs> It actually kind of sort of works. It really actually kind of sort of does. Don't ask me why, but it, it does. I don't know if we actually change anything. I think we just run it back, actually. Yeah. This hand uh, does not do anything. Yeah. Okay. We'll try it. Lands on top. We need two lands. Freebooter to the bottom. Tap land for our opponent. <laughs> the timely arcane adaptation. Land for our opponent. Passes. All right. Pass the turn. Ooh, opponent. Land, then land. Kemble. It is a legend. All right. Rivulet. That's a step closer to doing something. Pass the turn. Four is for our opponent. Yeah, it's in with Kemble. Down to 18. Yup. Oh, no. Teshar. Land. Oh, dear. Pass the turn. Discard a gifted Ethermorn. Swamp for our opponent. Yeah, it's in. Yeah. Down to 14. <laughs> Shauna. Oh, boy. Well, there's Field of Ruin. So I guess we're champion of Witzing. Discard Arcane Adaption for now. And I guess <sighs> Liliana's contract goes to combat. Gets in, gets in, gets in. Yeah, we take it. Down to six. Want to play the land. Passes. Play Deadlands. Pass the turn opponent grind oh do we live at one life so kill kemble field of ruin wow this might this might work get a swamp kill teshar drop to three opponent passes well play ganti we have some painful mana um i guess we take shauna pass the turn opponent Passing. Well, play Shauna. We figured it out. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Pass the turn. Wow, we might have stabilized. The only problem is we got to gain back life because we can't cast a Liliana's Contract at the moment. Kemble. Okay. Opponent passes. I'll play Drown Catacombs. Get in with Gifted Aetherborn. Go back up to five. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Pass the turn. All right, there's a Ruinous Blast. And Ovaya. Oh, this game. Opponent. Goes attacking. Now well, block here. Block here. Opponent passes. Play Chupacabra. Kill Avaya. Play Boneyard. Get in with Gandhi. And we actually... There's a world where we can combo off. We are at five. Which means we can go to one to cast another contract if we find one. Another Avaya. Yep. Opponent passes. We'll play the island... Play Arcane Adaptation on Demon. Go attacking. Opponent takes it. Veraska's Contempt. Ovaya. Pass the turn. Up to seven. Uh-oh. Arvad. Okay. That doesn't just beat us. Opponent passes. Well, let's champion. Draw some cards. Discard champion and fatal push. Play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. We're so close. Another Ruinous Blast. Less close. Man, if it wasn't for this <laughs> random legendary Gonti, we would be so dead. Yeah, block. Stay a seven. 
See if we can rebuild. Drown Catacombs. Well, Champion of Wits. Draw some cards. There's the contracts. Discard a land. Discard a contract. We only can afford one. Play Drown Catacombs. It's possible. It's possible. Land for our opponent. Ugh. Ariel. Okay. Well, run out Trickster. Pass the turn. Play Contract. Drop to three. Draw some cards. Play Chupacabra. Kill Ariel. Boneyard. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. I think it I think it might be happening. I think we're gonna get the win. Opponent passing. Play arcane adaptation. Oh, we got the GG's! We got the GG's! Oh man! It was looking super grim in the comeback and the combo, and that's a game. And it keeps working. Somehow, somehow it keeps working. Liliana's contract. Sweet. So what do we learn this week about Liliana's adaptation? in standard and overall the deck worked pretty well so we played five matches we won four of them which is like 80 percent as far as match win percentage game wise we played 11 we won eight which is good for like 72 ish percent so the deck i mean it was pretty reasonable we beat some legit decks we beat jeskai control we beat the sifter worm deck which is kind of a legit deck now or at least a legit ish deck we beat the abs and legend deck which was a little rogue but it did have a lot of powerful guards uh, we did play one draft deck essentially so that was kind of a freebie but our only loss was to the mono red deck and oh my god the eminent doom draw that was actually one of the highlights of this entire thing even though we were losing to see someone play eminent doom untap go one drop into lightning strike into wizard's lightning for four man and deal like a million damage i mean if you're gonna lose that was a pretty cool way to lose so even that was all right so overall i feel like the deck was pretty good we were able to kind of grind it out in function without our combo and then the combo just gave us this way to close out the game we sometimes got in positions where it's like eh, like are we winning with creatures do we need the combo but the awesome part that we learned about the combo is liliana's contract in specific it's good even when we're not comboing just drawing four cards for five mana is a lot lot of card advantage against Jeskai Control. We actually just won that by playing all four Liliana's contracts, drawing 16 more cards in our opponent, and leveraging that into the game win even without the combo. And people are unnecessarily scared of Arcane Adaption. Like, they're going to counter it if they can because they're afraid that something crazy is going to happen. They don't really know that Arcane Adaptation is doing nothing for a big part of the game and actually a really horrible card until it suddenly just wins us the game out of nowhere so it was eating counter spells and then eventually winning the game so the inconsistency of the two ofs wasn't really a problem and i think our deck showed that it's pretty reasonable and practical to win a decent amount of games with Liliana's contract so i'm sure there's more that can be done with it i don't know if demon tribal will work in standard there's just not enough demons but the deck was pretty sweet having champion wits to discard like arcane adaptation when it's bad is nice we got lots of card advantage good creature so it actually felt oddly competitive uh, so i don't know i don't know liliana's contract one of the more competitive you in the game cards that's for sure so anyway that has been our against the odds for this week liliana's adaptation for m19 standard thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.